Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something really exciting to talk about and that is Focus Wildcards and how you can use them to spice up your image generation projects. If you love creating and want to add a dash of surprise to your work, then I think you're gonna love this. We're going to explore how using Focus Wildcards in your prompts can lead to wonderfully unexpected and creative results. So let's get started. <laughs> So what exactly is a wildcard? Well, an image generator wildcard is a special symbol or instructions in this case you add to your prompt to make the AI create more varied or unpredictable images. When you use a wildcard, you're basically telling the AI to decide some parts for itself and surprise you with the results. So really it's a way to make the images you get less predictable or more interesting. Okay, so I wanna show you where these wild cards are stored and it's right here in the focus root folder in the folder called wild cards. They use text files and by default focus comes with six of their own pre-made wild card files. I put mine in a folder called mine because I did add a couple here for the example that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And just so you know, all of the wildcard files must be in the root wildcards folder. So make sure you don't put them inside of another folder. I just threw mine in there just so you guys know which ones that the Focus app comes with by default, which are these six right here. Artist, color, color flower, extended color, flower, and nationality. But if I click on one of these, for example, let's click on color. When these are used in your prompt, it will randomly select one of these colors from this wildcard file. And I'll show you how to use these in the prompt here next. Here we are in the Focus app. I wanted to let you guys know really quick, uh, I am using a turbo model. This is TurboVision Super Fast XL. I'm not using any LoRa's or any refiners or anything like that. Uh, for this particular instance of images, I do a 2.5 guidance scale, image sharpness of three, and I did change my force sampling step to six and I changed my sampler to DPMPP underscore SDE. So if we go to style, I unchecked everything but focus enhance. That's the one that I'm going to be using for this one. And under settings, I have quality and my image number set to six. I usually do this much larger if I'm not recording uh, because I do lose a little bit of speed when I'm recording because it does use the graphics card to also um, process the recording of this video. So now we can take a look at the prompt that I'm using a wallpaper design of space with stars, planets, and galaxies in underscore, underscore, color, underscore, underscore, and underscore, underscore, extended dash color, underscore, underscore, gradient colors. Now let's explain exactly how that works. And it's actually quite simple. These words with the underscores are simply the names of the wildcard files that contain the words we want it to randomly fill in. So in a nutshell, when I click generate, it's going to create a really cool wallpaper with stars, planets, and galaxies in two different colors because I'm using two different wildcard color files. And it's going to use some nice gradients in the background and stuff like that to make it look really nice. Now, you can let your imagination run wild with this because you you can use it for pretty much anything. You can use it for names. You can use it for characters. You can use it for pretty much anything. Let your imagination run wild. Right now, it looks like it's using lime green as one of the primary colors. And we will find out in just a minute exactly what it's going to do. Oh, and by the way, I don't know why it starts off when it generates these photos, why it starts off with a, like a creepy looking skull dude in the background. I don't know if that's just someone pranking with, with a model or something, but I've tried different models and it still does that. I don't have anything in my negative prompt area. So I'm not exactly sure if that's part of using these wild cards or what exactly that is. So I'm not sure what that is, but here's what we got. You can see it used different results with different colors rather. So if I go to my logs and I refresh, you can see a wallpaper design of space with stars, planets, and galaxies in teal and palette turquoise. So we have galaxies in gray and light cayenne. So you can see how the wild card picks and chooses different colors in the prompt by using those wild cards. That is pretty awesome. Okay, now on to the fun part, creating our own wild card files. This is actually really simple. All you have to do is just create a text file with, uh, with stuff in it, with names. Uh, for example, I, I made one called Marvel-Heroes. And all I did was went on chat GPT and had it make a list of Marvel heroes all in a line, one per line, 
just so you know, don't add any numbers, don't add bullet points, nothing like that. So that's one example that I could use later. But today I wanna to focus on one that I made with shapes. And these are all a bunch of different shapes that I made. Again, use ChatGPT for this. Had it come up with a bunch of different shapes. And I'm going to make some vector wallpapers with two different colors. And I think it's gonna look really cool. So let's get started doing that. One thing to keep in mind is if you are going to be using this to generate wallpaper images, I found that 1280 by 768 is the best resolution to use. And then you can later upscale it using something like Gigapixel. I'm not too particular with using the upscaler inside of Focus because it tends to generate different images. So I stick with Gigapixel. Just gonna throw that out there. We are going to do a vector gradient wallpaper with underscore, underscore shapes, underscore, underscore using underscore underscore color underscore underscore and underscore underscore extended dash color that should be color not colors because it has to be it has to be spelled right or it won't work now let's reference this really quick let's go to wild cards we have shapes which is here we have color which is here we have extended color which is here so we have two different color wild cards and we have a shapes wild card file three different wildcard files all being used in this one. So when I hit generate, it's going to create six different wallpaper images using different shapes and two different gradient colors. And again, with this creepy looking skull dude at the beginning, but keep in mind, sometimes this is going to generate images that don't look so great, but for the most part, I've been pretty pleasantly surprised with the results that I've been getting. Um, and that's the whole reason why I'm sharing this with you guys today is because look at this, some amazing results come out of this. And you can always change the prompt. You can do whatever you want with this. Like I said, let your imagination run wild. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got. Again, this is only a batch of six images. You can see, I mean, look at the variety we have. We have all kinds of different colors, different shapes. And this is the idea behind this is getting random results. Some of them are gonna be cool. Some of them aren't gonna be so hot. But again, you can always go to your logs and you can see exactly what colors were used in these. You can see if you zoom in, I can show you. You can see that uh, red and deep pink were used, also pebbled shapes as the shape. So if you really wanna know exactly what they are that were used, you can always go in the logs and you can check there. Again, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Also, be sure if you guys come up with something cool with this, I want to know what it is. Definitely let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, also be sure to ask there as well. Uh, over on the Mind Renders Wiki, um, I will be adding my wildcard files. Again, you can make your own. You don't have to download mine, but they're going to be there. If you want to download them, I'll be adding them here. I already added the shapes one there. So if you want to grab them, check them out at wiki.mindrenders.com. If you like this kind of content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already like to see you guys. I'm excited to be sharing much more videos here in the near future. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye for now.